Hi everyone, I'm Norinz and in this video I'm going to talk about all the Incredibles games on the GameCube. There are two games. Incredibles looks just like a really good and polished game, but behind the looks lays a dull game. There are only two types of enemies in the game, henchmen and robots. And some of the boss battles are actually the same enemy but in a different environment. And the game is filled with levels where you have to beat every enemy press a button to open a door and proceed to another area where you have to beat everyone up and press another button. And the combat is pretty boring too. There are no combos or extra moves which means that the combat is pretty repetitive. And for the most part you play as Mr. Incredible and do the sad actions. Occasionally you play as the rest of the family. With Violet you get some stealth levels, with Elastigirl you do almost the same stuff as with Mr. Incredible, only that she has different moves and her levels include some platforming too. And with Dash you have running levels. Overall, while the game looks polished, the game is lazy, which makes the game lose points. The Incredible's Rise of the Underminer changes up the formula a little, but makes it somewhat worse. In the game you play as only two characters, Mr. Incredible and Frozo, and you can switch between the two characters whenever you want. There are no more levels with the rest of the family, just these two. You get a super move by charging a bar and you can upgrade abilities for both characters, but this doesn't change the game's nature to be a button lasher. Frozone has more moves and cooler moves in my opinion, he doesn't just punch stuff like Mr. Incredible, he freezes stuff and can glide. The only good improvement in the game is that because the levels are played in two anyway, you can play local co-op with a friend and that way the game can become more enjoyable. But alone the game is tedious and even annoying as it has levels like those where you get stuck because the difficulty spikes out of a sudden because you're swarmed by too many enemies. You, you know that, that type of level in some games, that, that, that level that you can't pass easily, you have to try it multiple times. Overall, the two games are monotonous and tedious and I don't recommend them. They might look polished, but underneath lays a really dull game. I mean from a reviewer standpoint it's dull and monotonous, but if you are the normal player it's going to be decent. It's, it's not incredible as the title says, the gameplay is just decent, but don't expect much from it because the games are indeed monotonous and tedious, while they are also decent. 